Okay, assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters, welcome back. Uh, this is Abdi Muhammad who will be taking for you today math of uh, form 3 as you can see on board. This is chapter 7 of the KLBA cycles, then under that you're going to see chords and uh, tangents. Okay, without wasting time, let me first make you to understand what a chord is. Okay, a chord uh, in a statement form, a chord is a straight line which touches the circumference of the circle at two points but does not divide the cycle into two equal parts. It's a straight line which touches the circumference of the cycle at two point, but does not divide the cycle into two equal parts. If now I sketch for you, where well, this is the cycle, look here. This can be a chord, okay? Let's say this is A, this is B. So it's a straight line that touches the circumference of the cycle at two points, A and B, points A and B, but does not divide the cycle into two equal parts. Okay? It does not divide the circle into two equal parts. Okay? A, chord, uh, when it, a chord, when it becomes mature, is what you normally call a diameter. So a diameter is a mature chord, for your information, guys. Okay? And then a tangent. What's a tangent? A tangent is a line which has a point of one point of contact with the circle. Okay? Okay? It has a point, one point of contact on the circumference of the circle. So this is what you normally call a tangent. Okay? This is the point of contact. So we are going to see the property of a tangent ahead of us for really. Because see a tangent is perpendicular to the radius. Okay, that means the angle formed by a tangent and a radius is always what? 90 degrees of which you're going to discuss later on. So a tangent is a straight line drawn from an external point to a circle which has got again one point of contact with it, with a circle for your information, guys. Then knowing that, knowing that, uh, we'll go ahead and see how this concept is examined in national exams, okay? Okay, let's go. Uh, under this, we are going to learn what you normally call the length of an arc. The length of an arc. The length of an arc, okay? The length of an arc, okay? Uh, remember, this has got a formula to calculate. We know that length of an arc, length of an arc is equal to theta over 360, 2 by r, okay? This is the formula we're going to use. Then in this formula, remember in the examination room, you can be asked to get also theta and r. One time they can ask you to get the length of an arc, but the length of an arc is gotten as theta over 360, 2 by r. And remember, in every formula of mathematics, we have constant and variable. So the variables are the ones that are asked during the national exam or in the exam, okay? So theta is what you can, you can also be asked in the examination room, R likewise. So we must know how to get also theta and R. Uh, and of course, I will drive for you the formula of getting here. So now without wasting time, let's see the first example. We have example one. You are told, find the length of an arc. Look at this one. You're told, find the length of an arc. Find the length of an arc. Of an arc. Subtending. 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 An angle of. An angle of. 90 degree at the center of the circle at the center at the center of the circle if if the radius of the circle is is 28 centimeter okay so you're told to find the length of an arc uh, subtaining an angle of the of an arc of a circle, yeah? subtaining an angle of 90 degrees at the center of the circle if the radius of the circle is what? Is 28 centimeters. Find the length of an arc subtending an angle of a 90 degrees at the center of the circle. So you can see and find the length of an arc of a circle. Of a circle. You can see that. Subtending an angle of 90 degrees at the center of the circle if the radius of the circle is what? 28 centimeters. So we know that length 
land is equal to delta over 360 2 by r which is equal to our delta is what 90 over 360 times 2 times by times r which is 28 so cancel this one by 9 1 by 9 4 by 7 1 by 7 4 by 4 1 by 4 1 so length there yeah. length is equal to 2 times 22 that is 44 centimeter so that's how you're going to get the length of an arc of, of a circle subtended by a certain angle and center and with the radius okay then after that uh, in the examination room again you can be asked i told you that when length is equal to data over 360 to the r uh, in this formula remember data can be asked also r can also be ask for your information and uh, let us see how to get a uh, radius okay example two example two you are told the length of an arc of a circle the length of an arc of a circle is 11 centimeter full stop Find the radius of this circle. Find the radius of this circle. Find the radius of this circle. Okay. If the arc subtends, if the arc subtends 90 degrees at the center of the circle at the center of the circle they are telling you to check by is equal to check by is equal to 12 to 7 ok that's what they are telling you exactly. so uh, this time uh, what you are going to do is there are some teachers that normally insert the values that they are having in the formula but we must get or we must drive a formula of getting r. We know that coming to the solution part, we know that ln is equal to data all over 360 2 by r. Data all over 360 2 by r. So we are going to say times 360 times also 360. So I'll cancel this one. Okay? Because I want to get r. So in this formula, length is equal to delta over 362 by r, remember, and uh, we have denominator. So we want to get either of these two, r or delta. You are going to eliminate first 360 by multiplying both sides of the equation, okay? You are going to say times 360, times 360. So, so far we have the equal sign here. These two will cancel because they are on the same side of the equal sign, okay? They will cancel. Then we will have 360 times the length is equal to delta 2 by r delta 2 by r then your target is to get what? is to get r so far you have made your equation linear you can get now r by dividing both sides again delta 2 by here here also delta 2 by okay cancel this thing so you are left with what? r so r is equal to 360 times Length divided by theta 2 by r. You want to get that. You want to get that, please. So that's how you're going to get. Then you'll come to this point. Look here. Uh, you must know how to drive formula. Even though, ahead of us, you're going to learn a uh, formula and variation. And that will, make, that will help you to make a certain letter the subject of formula for information. We are going to learn that. But we know how to drive, by the way. Remember? You see times 360, don't forget. So this is times 360 to eliminate this one. Then we know that R is equal to 360 times what? Len divided by theta 2 by. Sorry? Theta 2 by. This is theta 2 by, remember? Okay? Then we're going to say R is equal to 360 times the length. Length is what? 11 centimeters. Divided by data, our data is what? 90 times 2 by. Times what? 2 by. 2 by. Remember, this 7 is not divisible to 90. Okay? So we'll take it up. Times 7. 
also claim is 7, cancel these two now. Then cancel these two again. By 9, 1, by 9, 4. By 2, 1, by 2, 2. By 2, 1, by 2, 11. By 11, 1, by 11, 1. So R is equal to 7 centimeter. Is a matter of the value, yeah? Yes, I understand. The moment this seven is not visible to these squares, you take it out. Okay? That's how you're going to get radius given length and data. Okay? Given length and data. Okay? That's how you're going to get the, the radius given length and data. Okay? Uh, let's also see how we are going to get uh, the angle data. Angle data as our example uh, three. Okay, let me write it here. Right here. How are you are going to get data, which is the angle, okay? Let me try to see how to get data, which is our angle now. Okay. Uh, you are told find example three. This is example three. You are told find the angle subtended. Find the angle subtended. Find the angle subtended at the center of a circle. At the center of a circle by an arc. By an arc of a, by an arc of length by an arc of length you're told 20 centimeter 20 centimeter if the circumference of the circle if the circumference of the circle if the circumference of the circle is 60 centimeter. Given. The circumference we're talking about is the 2 pi r, okay? 2 pi r. So now you have uh, you have uh, the length which is 20 and uh, the circumference, okay? We know that length is equal to delta over 360 2 by r. This time our target is to get what? Delta, not to get that. Because you are told find the angles of tenor. So I want to get this data. What will I do? I will eliminate this one. 360 degree. By multiplying both sides of the equation. Okay? I will say times 360 degree. Times also 360 degree. Okay? Okay. Just say times 360. Yeah? Better about this degree. Okay? Cancel these two because they are on the same side of the equal sign. This is the equal sign. Don't forget. They are on the same side. So you cannot cancel this one with this one. Okay? So you will have... 360 times the length, just like the previous one, is equal to theta 2 by r. Remember, 2 by r is the circumference, okay? Then our target is to get what? Is to get theta. So we're going to say, to get theta, we will eliminate the other points. That is the circumference, which is 2 by r. All over 2 by r. So cancel this thing. So now we are left with theta. Theta is equal to 360 times what? Length. 360 times what? Length divided by circumference, which is 2 by r. Okay? Come to this point. Okay? Come to this point, okay? We know that. We have, we have drafted the formula of getting what? Theta. The formula of getting theta is what? Theta is equal to 360 times what? Length divided by 2 by r, which is the circumference, going to get 2 by r. So we're going to say theta is equal to 360 times the length. The length is what? 20. Divided by uh, the circumference, which is what? 60, okay? 60. Cancel this thing. By 2, 1. By 2, 3. By 3, 1. By 3, is 12. So theta is equal to 120 because you're left with 0. So this is the angle subtended by the by the arc and center of the, of the cycle, okay? So this is how you're going to get uh, data, okay? From now, you must know how to get length, how to get the radius, and how to get what? Data for your information.
okay? These are the three uh, concepts, the first three concepts you're going to learn. Of course, uh, we must learn how to get length itself. The other variables, what? Variables are data and what? Uh, you must also be in a position to get data given length and radius, okay? Or circumference, okay? If you are given a radius, you can get the circumference by seeing 2 by r, okay? From there, you can actually get your data. So these are the three first concepts of which you're going to learn. In our next class, we're going to see what you normally call intersecting chords. That is internally intersecting chords and externally intersecting chords, okay, for your information. Make sure you get prepared and solve questions based on this uh, concept, okay? In our next class for reading, that's what we're going to discuss. And it's KCC uh, concept, of course. Otherwise, I wish you the best. Make sure you subscribe our YouTube channel. Of course, it will help you. And it will also help your friends and family members. Otherwise, I wish you the best.